Hello, my name is JJ Merello and I am here to talk about Perl 6. Again, today we will show how to define a Fibonacci series using Perl 6. This language, Perl 6, can work quite easily with sequences, defining them in a lazy way, which means that you can put, compute one element only when it's needed. For instance, let us define an infinite series, just like this one. Check out the infinite symbol here and also the three dots here. Okay, what we are seeing is, well, we have an infinite series, basically. And then some parentheses around it, and we put number three so that we can select the element number three, right? So element number three is four because every array starts with zero in, in pair. But let's do something a little bit more complicated. Check out this one, for instance. In this case, what we have is the first element of the series, the second one, and then with these three dots, we tell Perl 6 to just figure out what's going on. Let's see what's the third element, or fourth element here. Once again, it's seven, so it's it's a series composed only of the uh, odd elements, uh, odd natural numbers. But let's go to the Fibonacci series, which is a little bit more complicated. What happens if you want to define the series in terms of what goes before it? The Fibonacci series is every term is the sum of the two previous terms. That is, this would be the first term and this will be the second one. And by putting this little block here, what we are saying is this term is going to be computed by the sum of the two previous ones. And then you do it up to infinity. But here what we are doing instead of just putting a, a single element of a series, we say, okay, we want to have up to element number 10. We click and we have it. And that's it. Thank you very much.